I've got a ball, I've got a wall. Left hits the wall with the ball, right has to catch. Right times it back, left has to catch. Whoever drops it, it's a point to the other hand. And that explains the first ritual of the morning. If I've had a, a memorable dream, the first thing I do is to write it down. I had an absolutely magical dream where I was walking through a, a misty evening landscape and suddenly this harrier just rose up out of a pocket of mist in front of me, just turned its head as it went by, and I thought, that's it. He's accepted me as part of the landscape. And that, that, was the, that was the message of the dream. You know, I'd become one with the landscape. And really, that's all I ever tried to do. I suppose you could say tea was my drug. It's what I do every morning. My meditation is tea. Four minutes, that's got to have four minutes. Any, any less than four minutes, it's not worth drinking. Right, tea's brewed. At the moment, I can't get onto the internet. I'm gonna to have to get BT to come in and check the connections. Connections, that's all it's all about. Connecting with this vast electronic labyrinth where everybody seems to exist nowadays. These connections I'm not comfortable with. This is the wrong kind of connection. My connections are out there. Even when it's raining, I have to go out and sort of change my attitude, and I can only really do that when I'm walking over the hills. I am a trespasser. You can't have a landscape like this, which is so huge and so unspoiled, and possess it. You have to share it, and that's my, that's my philosophy. Sometimes if I can't decide which direction I'm going to go for my afternoon stroll or my evening walk, I'll use a blowpipe to help me, um, send me on the right direction. That's the one. Glad you could make it. Hey, hey sir. Yo, how's Come it going? on in. You're good. Come in. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. And now we've got to wait four minutes. Hey, do you know how to play piano? You have like a couple, like. This is what we have Hi. to do before tea, okay? Get that rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> a little real, a little more with the heart. <laughs> Nothing like a good cup of tea. That's the kind of average size of the fish in the lake where we're going. Yeah, I've done some fishing with my grandfather in, in Norway, but I was young then. <sighs> By the way, these are bluebells that grow wild. They've got a lovely smell. Oh, they smell good. Until I've smelt the bluebells, spring hasn't started. Just pick yourself a leaf. You never, you never tried this before? No, <laughs> it was good. Congratulations, this is wild garlic. This is very good for you. You'll still be skateboarding when you're 100. Man, that's a dream to come and just pick your food. I want to just munch a bunch of these. Yeah, but 25 years ago, when I first came down through this wood, I'd not gone far into it and I came across this. But I reckon it's between 700 and 1,000 years old. It's, it's an ancient tree. I always like to do a complete circuit so that it knows it's me. And now it knows it's you too. Imagine all those summers and winters and all those winds and all those storms, but it's still here. Now we have to say goodbye. Farewell, old tree. See you again soon. My mouth like stinks of garlic right now. Yeah. It's good though. I'll go slowly because the, the slower you go, the less you're noticed by whatever is out there. And if you're gonna have an encounter with something, whether it's a bird or an animal, you need to stop and disappear 
and by disappearing you don't have to hide anyway you just have to stand still for a very long time <laughs> and eventually you do become invisible there that's the lake by the way oh is it yeah oh, i see yeah i'm having like a crazy deja vu about this place actually and we've been all bloody day and we've got we've got the whole tomorrow as well have you ever seen one of these yeah. see the, the water goes on the outside and the fire goes up the middle you haven't got a lighter have you? yeah i do actually you can be the official fire starter it's going nicely down there. Now the moment of truth. Tea freshly made by the side of the lake. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, a pair of buzzards, two buzzards. Oh, I see it. Lovely. Come and sail over here. He's going in for a dive. He's going to swoop, watch him go. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. He's gone now. Yeah, you sometimes see him doing an absolute vertical dive. He'll spin and he'll... Being a skateboarder, you appreciate it because of all kinds of tricks. You know, when, when the fish are moving and you're having to get everything ready, I get so impatient. I get the same one I'm setting up a board. Mm. That'll do. Yes, I once met an old man who was nearly 100, mm -hmm. and I said, what do you owe your long years for? Walking, he said, death will never catch me up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, yeah, I always remembered that. Yeah. And then, then one day he had a bit of a shiver. He said, I don't feel so good, and I asked him to go to bed, and he, he didn't wake up. So it's, oh. pe it's peaceful, peaceful. That's what I want to happen. I'd like to stretch out here by a lake if I was feeling a bit sort of, no, I don't think I'm gonna wait till the morning. I think I'll, I'll call it a day here. And then you wake up in your dream self. Yeah. And you float off across the water. That, that would be quite a, <laughs> quite a comforting way to go. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to get a rod when you get home. Yeah. Maybe next time I see my grandfather, he likes to fish. Good, I'm just gonna have a, I'm just gonna have a pee in the, all this tea drinking. <laughs> <laughs>